They said we are live, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at now. You see it on the page. Yeah, we good. We good, we good. <laughs> All right, everybody. Your boy's back. The stream radio, stream sports, your boy, Big T and King C's in here. And, hey, y'all see it. <laughs> We won <I'm> today. <laughs> My Washington football team beat the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, I ain't going to start there. I'm going to start with the boy Cam Newton, the New England Patriots. I'm going to start right there. And um, what you think about him today, uh, Seas, and what he done for the, well, against the Dolphins? Well, I, the Dolphins are a good team not to be slept on. So. Right. Uh, and then it was kind of impressive. Like, in New England, it's taking – they're using every aspect of his game down there. Yeah. So they're getting the best. Yeah, they're getting the best out of Cam Newton so far. This is just the first game, but you know, uh, kudos to Cam for a pretty decent performance. He did pretty good today. Yeah. Uh, and he had then. Cam Newton had uh, in his yellow suit coming out. Uh, I think he's chilling today. He had um, 155 yards, uh, 15 for 19. He didn't throw much. Ran 15 carries for 75 yards. They used it to his advantage. And, hey, a pretty good uh, game for him. So, he did his thing. But I don't think it could be another Super Bowl winning year for him, for the New England Patriots. If he can change Cam Newton's whole attitude around, they will be different. I think that's that's probably Cam Newton's motivation right now is to, uh, you know, try to prove his fans that he is who he say he is and um, make up for the years he had down there. Because, like, now, like, what's going to be his excuse? Right. He, he knew Tom Brady could get it done with, with what he got down there. So, uh, what's going to be his excuse now? And I think New England seeing that in him, man, and I, I don't think they would have got him if they didn't see the potential for him to be uh, a right. player for the Super Bowl. So you think this is his only chance? I ain't going to say it's his only chance, but it's probably one of his best chances. It's a good chance. It's a great – you going to a Super Bowl winning team, yeah, like – yeah, it's a great chance for him. All right. Coach, uh, you got Belichick now. Now, uh, yeah, it's a, it had a, a whole nother dimension to his game as well. So, All right. He'll be learning. One of the greatest coaches ever, with, with one of the greatest organizations ever. So uh, he's he's definitely in the right place to flourish and, and to be something better. And, a Super Bowl champion at that. And my point is, um, you think this is best chance? Belichick trying to prove that he can do it without Brady. I think he really trying to adapt to Cam and what he need to do, and try to push him to get there. With hey, you ain't you ain't got the greatest, you ain't got no great receivers, but uh, Junior Edelman, um, still got the you know. Just trying to adapt to everything he can do for Cam. They just prove that he can do it without Brady. I mean, he want to do it for the organization regardless because right. not really proving that he can do it without Brady, but he want to prove to the organization that he was a very intricate part of the Brady era. So I can see the fire and, and, and desire to win championships down there without right. Cam. I mean, without uh, Brady, but – um. I don't think the motivation would be just to prove that he could do it without Brady because, you know what I'm saying, he already has the organization set on a, on a train to, of winning. So I think he just want to keep the train on the track. All right. Adding the, adding the best pieces he could to the situation. All right. I think Cam was a great pick. So, yeah, I, I agree with you on that. No, but – um. We're going on dead right now. Um, the Saints, just talk about Brady. We, we're talking about the Patriots. The Saints beating the uh, Bucks right now, 31-17. Um, 
trying to look at break the numbers right quick. I know he don't do two picks though. Tom Brady, one touchdown, two interceptions, 157 yards. Um, he ain't looking quite good right now. But he, uh, you know, he messed with Drew Brees though. <laughs> yeah, you gotta adjust. Yeah, you gotta adjust to that, to that, uh, that line and, and to the players that he got. Yeah, I mean, he forty something years old. Like, bro, as soon as he snapped the ball, he got to get rid of. It. Right, ain't like he can just hold on to it. Like, he didn't want to get hit no more and take those sets. So, I mean, it might be more picks in his, in his uh in his future, man, because he got to get rid of that ball, man. He can't be taking no hits like that. So, All right. Yeah, you know the boys going in there to get him too. So, yeah, I mean, your read right Drew now Brees. is 15, uh, 16, 27, 151 yards, two touchdowns. And that the rumor came today that if Drew Brees decided to hang it up this year, they're going after Tom Brady. I think that's a bad idea. I think you're gonna get a um, going to give it to number seven that you were talking about in the way. And the boy Young, go ahead and let him have it. Hold on, wait a minute. You saying if Drew Brees gave it up this year, they're gonna go out right. to town, bro? That's what the rumor was heard. That I heard it was told Come today. <laughs> why, why don't you just go get Joe Montana already, man? <laughs> right. <laughs> man, that man impressed. He didn't did his thing. We impressed. I'm very impressed with his with his career. Uh, right. Don't turn it into a Jordan Wizards era. You know what I mean? Yeah. You yeah, did your thing. You're a bad man. You one of the baddest to ever do it. Right. They can't, they can't deny that. Yeah, that's why I, that's what I was told today that he they would go after Tom Brady. So, but I don't know. That would be an idiotic move, nothing but that that'll be a ticket seller. That's about it. But you ain't winning that. Right. So, but since we were talking, we were talking in group chat today, and uh, my Washington football team. Came back from seventeen to zero today, and what Billy but that I feel great about. Yeah, I will go say the Redskins will win the Redskins no more. We the Washington Football Team, and <laughs> <laughs> so, every time I hear that man, every time I hear it, it's funny to me, man. The Washington Football Team, like they can come up with. Man. And the rumor today that Dan Stiles trying to he trying to keep that name, the Washington football team. I just think it's dumb and idiotic, but <laughs> they might want to send the Washington the Washington Wizards to the Washington football team and the Washington <laughs> I mean uh, to the uh, Washington basketball team, the Washington Nationals to the Washington baseball team. <laughs> so, so far, so far it's working for y'all. Yeah. Rick, no, no, no. Go ahead. I guess some bum ass eagles. <laughs> Why you gonna call them bum? They'll be no seventeen day. They some bum, man. Hey, yo, the day was the battle of the trash bag. <laughs> <You start off, laughs> Why you say that? Man, them boys some bum, man. Both of them. Carl, <laughs> Wentz, Carson, whatever name Wentz, Wentz and uh -huh. Oh, you got Haskins on your. Haskins, y'all yeah. quarterback. Right. Haskins, Haskins did good. I'm just yeah. saying, man, them boys, them boys ain't going to never mount to that, man. Either one of them. The Redskins, I'm, uh, the Washington football team, <laughs> Philadelphia Eagles, man. Y'all got y'all a couple of championships, man. Be happy with that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, y'all cool. Right. Came back 17 that uh, scored 27 unanswered points. Um, defense, defensively, we look great. Uh, Chase Young, he got after uh, Wentz. I think he got set in the fourth fumble. Um, I want to say uh, Ryan Kerrigan broke Dexter Manley record for most sacks as a Washington Redskins. You were you impressed by anything? You, were you impressed? You just call us trash. The defense didn't impress you at all. I, that was a shutout in the second half. Oh yeah, I'm impressed with the defense. Defense looked like uh, hey shit, the offense looked impressive to put up 27 unanswered points. All right. I mean, y'all came back in the in the late, later halves so and y'all look pretty good. But I can't take that from you. I ain't no hater like that, but I don't right. see y'all. 
You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna see y'all. If you do it a couple of games, I, I'd be impressed, man. But I've seen y'all y'all do stuff like this before, so <laughs> I ain't gonna toot the horn too fast. You know what I'm saying? But very good, good win, man. I like to tell you, good win. All right. I love like Mark. Bum ass Eagles squad. Hello, I think Matt about come in. I'm trying to get him in. Matthew Lamont Gore. <laughs> boy, he been talking. He been talking about that 2K boy. I don't know what he's talking about. He ain't run that. Oh, I don't know how to get. I don't know how to play it now, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to. I got 2K11, so I went on to step my game up. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, get marvelous one in here in a minute. Let's see. Let me do some adjustments. So when he come in, we can bring him in. So what you think about um, the Bills? You impressed with the Bills? Yeah, you know they was they were they were pretty good last year. I, I and yeah, that's more. They always put up some good, good regular season points and regular season wins, man. Yeah. I'm very impressed with them. Well, what about them? The Carolina Panthers, man. What? Huh? They, did, they did what I expected. I, I really think they're going to be rebuilding for the next two years. So they did what I expect. You got rid of everybody, just about. So you're doing what I expect you to do right now. I see them getting about four to five wins. Yeah. He lost to the uh, Las Vegas Raiders, man. All right. Mm. But the Raiders was pretty good last year. Well, not last year. Was it last year? They were better. Yeah, they, they got better. They, they were getting better last year. Yeah. Yeah, they were better. Yeah. They were stepping their game up, man. Yeah. And you expect that from them from um I think you know, uh Carr, Derek Carr he he a great quarterback. Um was the kid from Alabama one that running back, right? Yeah. Yeah, and you know he was getting good last year. What you think about Russell Wilson and Seattle today? Yeah, what's the score? I'm mean, what was the score? 30, uh, 38 25, they beat the Falcons. Boy, my boss. That's, That's impressive, man. So you think Russell Wilson back? Yeah, he was 31 for 35 for 350, I want to say. Ooh. So he showed out then. Right. Yeah. But you never know. Russell never had no big names down there, but he always do his thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 31 for 35, 322, four touchdowns. That's a hell of a uh, some hell of a stats, man. Yeah. Uh, Thirty-one for thirty-five. Shit, you down there, perfect. Right. You yeah. missed four passes all day. Right, and you never had no big names down when they won the Super Bowl. You never had no big names down there. Yeah. So, and he still done this thing. I used to hate him at State, boy. He used to kill my Tar Heels all the time. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's used to kill us, man. Yeah, I was just only reason I'm a Tar Heel uh, football team uh, just because, man. I'm a Tar Heel basketball. So right. I just ride with them, man. I don't be watching their football games like that. I already know what it is. Yeah, yeah. So you, but they make it better, though. They make it yeah. better. Yeah. So you think um, Atlanta rebuilding this year? The Hawks. Atlanta or uh, Falcons? They I meant Falcons. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Well, shoot, Matt Ryan, well, he threw 54 times. He, he threw for 450. Damn. <laughs> That's a lot of y'all. Them boys put up some impressive amount of numbers, man, but they couldn't add on. Them, 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 them y'all don't add up, man, when the scoreboard don't change. Right. And you don't flip the numbers on that scoreboard. It really don't matter for them. It's right. like... uh. Just like the other dude had more, he had more yards than Cam, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, fish, fish, fish. Yeah, he had, he had more homes and I mean, he had more, uh, he had more yards than Cam, but you know, 
it was it was the point of the matter when you score, when you make those points, uh, when you get those right. yards. Right. And, well, Fitzpatrick yeah, you know, ain't never been a starting quarterback anyway, really. So no, no, he really hasn't. But he's stepping up though for, to be in that starting position. Yeah, well, right. he, he he in there now, so I mean, man, he got to take his lumps, man. He'll be he'll be pretty decent. All right. So Tampa Bay getting whooped on, man, by New England. Yeah. I mean, New England. 31 27. Oh, let, me, let me look at the score again. I was just looking at Matt had just came back in. Um, man, I lost it already. There you go. Hold on. Let me bring Marvel this morning in here. Let me see, can I get him in here? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, we here. We here. Here. One. We here. Yeah, we here. <laughs> yeah. What's going on, bro? I can't call it. <laughs> Look at how he got his hand on. Hey, me. Oh, I thought you were a Tom Brady fan, though. Nah, I never said I was. I'm, I'm a fan, but I never said I was leaving. <laughs> I never, not <laughs> once, said I was leaving. It was never in the books. I can't look it up. <laughs> Mm. So what you think about your boy today? <laughs> What's going on, bro? Are you talking about Cam-tastic? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he Cam-tastic now. He is a nickname. Oh, snap. Cam-tastic so now, huh? You know, I, I think he got out there, man, and he performed and he did what he needed to do, you know? Uh-huh. So you think that this that style of play gonna stick with Belichick? No, I think they nah, they're gonna have to change it up. Cause he's still running too much. Yeah. 15 carries for 75 yards. Yes, sir. And they got hot yellow suit he had on the day coming in there. <laughs> Man, that joke look like something I really want in the chocolate factory, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Like a, 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 a banana, bro. Like strong oh. banana. Mm -mm. But he got him in, though, so. But. Hey. Right. He got, he got his win, so I can't say nothing. But my Washington football team won a day, too, man. I don't even know what to say about it. <laughs> oh, you can't, what you mean you don't know what to say? I A shutout that, second half. I heard that the Eagles retired after that game. <laughs> Why? Every last Why did you them, every one of them just said, I'm done. Yeah. Why? Because we, we beat them. Yeah, exactly. Everybody up. Everybody I beat gonna catch the coronavirus and quit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I tell you now. Y'all might win a Super Bowl this year. There ain't gonna be nobody else in the league because they gonna quit, man. After playing y'all. <laughs> oh man! But, but we got Cleveland next spank, week. Y'all spank some ass, man. Y'all spank ass this evening. Zero. Thing. I, I was very proud. I ain't seen that in years. In Joe since Joe Gill's day, they still do. Yeah. But the only bad, but the only bad huh? part about it now, all of y'all acting like y'all just won the Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> See, hey, <laughs> with the Patriots, it's a way of life. We expect yeah. to win every game, so I don't even really have to say a whole lot. We won, but you, yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad, these dead skin fans wilding out. I'm talking about, I didn't yeah. even know there was so many of them. But they coming out of the woodwork. Oh, a lot of them. <laughs> my ATT. I said, well, Andy, you know you watch football, man. <laughs> Leon Porter, all those cats, man. I mean, they just coming out, man, strong. Gregory right. Barrett. 
Greggy Barrett talking about some dance. It's gonna be some more ass women coming. <laughs> I said, damn, boy, these boys see it. That boy done got tough. Uh, yo, boy, it look like well, I ain't know what to say. Boy, second, like okay. Yeah, I know you didn't know what it to say. You never seen yeah, that last year this time. You ain't never seen yeah, that. You thought a whole other team, eh? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a brand new era, a brand new team. You got you got rid of everything. It's just everything new. I appreciate y'all, man, for looking like being a bunch of fools for a bunch of years, man. Now, <laughs> now y'all can play. Now y'all can play some football, right? <laughs> now, we coming. Hey, y'all. I know y'all got y'all popcorn, your damn seat belts on, and everything, man. Wait for them cowboys oh, you know, to get the dome. I know oh, you. Y'all walk into a, y'all walk into a brand new stadium tonight, a brand new opening, and uh, are they gonna have fans? Rams gonna have fans tonight. Uh, ceiling fans. That's about all I think. I don't know. <laughs> what do you want? Rams gonna to try to put it on you tonight? Man, we're going to ram that right out of there. Uh, ram them right in the toilet, man. We ain't playing with them suckers. Bro. We ain't playing with nobody this year. I think we deserve a, stress, a stress-free year. Prescott, he better sell his game, but you know they're going to be Andy Dalton there for a reason. Andy Dalton? I wish they would, man. He's there for a reason. Yeah, huh? he is there for a reason. He is there for a reason. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if y'all saw this, but shout out to Chauncey. He said the Redskins are going to get three wins this year. Where you go, Tell Chauncey go sit down. <laughs> Tell go sit down. <laughs> I ain't got time for it. It's too early. It's early. But who else, who else did their thing today, man? Because we, we do we talk about this. We do about we ain't talking about nothing now. I mean, uh, I mean the uh, the football team. <laughs> what you say, I said we do talking about the football team for right now, man. I'm pretty sure somebody else plays the football. But y'all did good, man. <laughs> we'll see y'all in the Super Bowl. What? Uh, yeah, that's right. But yo, we going. Huh? No, you ain't. You can't even buy tickets this year, so you ain't able to go. You going again this year? Y'all going again this year? <laughs> yeah, we're going again. Like, like I said every year, I'm going to be right one year. I don't know when, but one yeah, year. Yeah, man. If somebody told I seen a great quote that somebody said, a broke clock is right at least one time a day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so y'all coming, man. I heard that from somewhere, man. <laughs> It sounds like a Matthew <laughs> Gorn quote, but I ain't going to just put it on them like that. <laughs> but but um, that, def- that definitely applied to their win today, man. <laughs> <laughs> but how about the Green Bay Panthers? Aaron Rodgers still showing he can do his thing. 32 from 44, 364 yards, four touchdowns. Oh, well, uh, Kirk Cousins, Minnesota Vikings, 43-34. Damn, that was a good shootout, wasn't it? Yeah. Good good game, man. I mean, the old heads doing their thing. They season veterans, man. They know what to do. Uh, you know, it, it's their time, man. It's just like a duel like right now. That right, season got stuck. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, he did it. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I got stuck, man. Yeah. Well, it must be. I don't know what I said now, though. But, <laughs> back to the, but yeah, the, the veteran quarterbacks, man. All the veteran quarterbacks doing doing their thing this year, man. I think they, you know, a lot of these guys on their last leg, so they gotta yeah. they gotta apply pressure. And I guess they feel like now that Tom Brady away from the Patriots, it's an open lane for somebody to come in there and snatch the Super Bowl. Ain't no open lane. Oh, oh, oh it's Spam open new, lane. Spam it is an open lane, though. I mean, if he do, he do. How you think, Ken? How you think Prescott going to feel about that, man? 
I don't, I don't care about Prescott. Ain't no love for the other side. <laughs> I feel you. I understand that. <laughs> Uh, what about the Baltimore Ravens, man? Yeah. What about them? 38 to 6 win today. Huh? What's their quarterback name? What's their what's their quarterback name? I don't know his name. I don't know who he is. <laughs> uh, I said, what's his quarterback name, y'all? Lamar Jackson. Okay, then. <laughs> Lamar, but I'm going to stay true to my statements. I ain't going to hate on Dak or, or Lamar. I but appreciate they, it, man. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that's it. But what's going to be funny, though, I hate to get back to them dead skins, but what's going to be Who funny is that? is Who is that? That, <laughs> that six-game losing streak and the red skins about to go on. That's going to be hilarious. <laughs> Who is that? Y'all about to get ready right now. Who are the skin? Who is that? Who is that? Oh, that's right. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. I like to apologize for using the name Redskins. The football team. Yeah, man. <laughs> they fish heads, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, man. No name. <laughs> All brand. <laughs> Watching the fish heads. I'm sorry. <laughs> the boys, <laughs> them boys are a pair of cougars, ain't they? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, well, we built like Alabama today. Put up, put on numbers across that helmet. We win it. Mm. Yeah, y'all do y'all thing, man. Y'all do y'all thing, man. But uh, y'all still look like y'all picked your back on the during the week and yeah, just play football on the week. <laughs> <laughs> they out there playing street ball. Be all right, all the now y'all win. I can't wait till you run into the. Don't to keep the, winning. It'll be all right. Who right. y'all taking? Who y'all got for tonight against Cowboys against uh? I can't wait, neither. I tell you, who you, who you pick? Chase Young got something wait. He got something wait for Prescott. Who do? Chase Young. Man, I, I got. I, the Cowboys are not gonna lose tonight, especially not after the Redskins won. That ain't gonna happen. It don't sound like it should. Oh, you think not going to be these, these guys got to open into their stadium. They're going to be hyped. You know why you don't think the Rams going to uh, be uh, the Cowboys? Because the you Cowboys are not going to let y'all win, and they don't win. That's it, period. Now, we ain't I don't care that. how they feel. <laughs> <laughs> you seen what Judas like did? Care how they you, seen what Judas, you seen what Judas did to Jesus, don't you? Oh my goodness! <laughs> it just got biblical. <laughs> we're gonna betray. We're gonna betray everybody. Deny everybody, man. Cause you can't handle no win without us, man. Mm. We ain't going for it. Who okay. is Tim Jones? Okay. Who is the football team? I ain't gonna say that. We are the football team. They got beat by the football team today. Big T. When the last so, time y'all started off one and zero? It's been a while. It's been two years ago. <laughs> I, I'm not yeah. gonna lie, but to look to look decent, it's been a while. Right, right, right. So you can't. Well, I can't on. lie about y'all it. Y'all won in the last year, man. No, uh -huh. no, we lost the field last year in the opening. In the opening. Uh huh. That we had a twenty-seven. We had we had a uh, twenty-seven to uh, ten. We had twenty-seven yeah, ten lead, something like. That. And they, they came, came back, back and beat. So y'all did the same thing that happened to y'all. Y'all did it to them this year. We did it to them. You see, ain't God good, man. See how you turn that thing around? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> the time man. Correction. Chauncey said y'all going to go on a seven-game losing streak. Damn. <laughs> let's, let's, see him talk, let's see him talk that if, if Cowboys lose tonight. Let's call, uh, let's call the season over with already, then. If y'all going to go on a seven-game losing streak. No. <laughs> no. I'm proud of y'all, though, Big T. I really am, man. I might right. give me a red skin belt buckle. Mm. <laughs> it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna hold your pants up. Damn. <laughs> no, it ain't gonna hold no pants up. But I'm gonna beat the beat the shit out of some children with it, though. 
I don't know what's wrong with the Eagles, man. Anybody know what's wrong with the Eagles, man? That's crazy, man. Nah, hey, the war showed up. We all good. We we got the talent to at least, at least get nine wins. Yeah, y'all can, at man. I ain't gonna that we got the talent. Y'all, y'all have talent enough to get nine wins every year. No. Yeah. Last year we didn't. Man, y'all had that talent, man. We just didn't. can't do nothing with it. Yeah, we didn't let it. we got our coach and stick he's sticking it to us now. I'm trying to figure out anybody trying to bet, man, on the Reds I'm on the Cowboys game tonight. I would like to put a light friendly wager up. Uh uh. Say it, tell the boys the inbox. Yeah, inbox. I, I, you know, hey. And tell somebody the inbox you wanna put a wager on the Cowboys tonight. I mean, anybody want to put a little wager on the Cowboys tonight? Please inbox me, man. Anybody here on Stream Sports in, in, inbox King C's. I know it's some St. Louis fans out there or some Ram fans. Where they moved to Tarboro? Where the Rams moved to? <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to get on the NBA real quick. Oh. Uh, I know Matt happy about last night. He ain't had no problem. Uh, Houston want, got um, got their coach fired today from a loss. So he ringed out LeBron. I guess. All I got to say. But see, what's up? Uh, Lakers going all the way. Take me to the king. All right. <laughs> that's, that's all. That's all I got to say. All right. Uh, Take it to the king. This was expected. Yeah, I can say that too. It was expected. Yeah. It was expected. Yeah. But I would say I would go over here and say that I felt like Portland had the motivation to beat y'all. Everybody got motivation. They had the talent to beat y'all. You said to beat who? Beat the Lakers. The Lakers. I thought you were a Lakers fan. He said y'all. I think that I thought they had it now. Oh, yeah, y'all. I am a Lakers fan. I ain't no LeBron fan. Uh, okay, that makes some sense. There ain't, no Lakers, there ain't no Lakers without LeBron. Not at this point. So you can't celebrate. You yeah. see, if they do win this, well, when, when they do win this uh, championship, you can't celebrate with, with, with the Lakers then, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> You make it hard for yourself, man. You can't be no hater and a lover at the same time. <laughs> that's, that ain't gonna get you nowhere, man. That's the, that's domestic violence. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, love on LeBron a little bit, man. Like, but I, I feel like, love on LeBron, man. Like, I feel like Portland had, I felt like Portland had the talent to do it. Uh, Damian Lillard got hurt. I think that changed a lot. Man, that ain't changing shit, man. I'm going to tell you the real, man. Ain't nobody beating the Lakers. You don't shit. feel like it's changing shit. Man, you know what? You don't think the Clippers are going to beat the Lakers? Who? The Clippers ain't got a chance to beat the Lakers. No. Anybody they got a chance to the, man, They got – nah, they just got – they have about the same amount of chance as Houston had. A one or two game win. That's it, man. It's too much, man. LeBron too much for anybody, man. Right now, any team you put together that's in this bubble that's going on right now, he too much for him, man. He too much for him, bro. The guy is too freaking much, man. Then you got AD. He too much for anybody in the paint. So if you got a motherfucker just dominating the right. front court and the back court, what the hell you gonna do, man? You got some shit around you that you that can pop off at any time. Like a jump shot and a Rondo taking over and showing off in 21. You never know what, man. You can't beat them guys, man. You will get mad. You will get mad coming out there. Both of them are more like a beast. Man, so, I mean, shit. It's it's like niggas will get mad or tired of going out there and fighting them guys every day and get whooped. (laughs) <laughs> they just gonna start putting up anything, start jacking up anything. I don't care. We know we're gonna lose anyway. I don't care. And that's what it's boiling down to, man. The Lakers, the Lakers in five against either one of them. 
And if they play, De if they play Denver, the late the Clippers will let Denver come back and, and force a game seven. So if they fuck around and lose that, yeah, the finals. I, and the Clippers will get a game. Too. I think. Yeah, I think Clippers will end it tonight. I think it will go six games, six to seven games against the Lakers. Oh, did they end it already? Because they were playing earlier. I, I just thought about that. Uh, Chauncey, I'm about to look now. The Clippers better hope they win on Tuesday. So I guess they play again on Tuesday. Oh, I thought so they the must, because they played today. The yeah, the Clippers yeah. playing today. They were must be. Yeah, they were must be. They yeah, were win. Oh, look now. Whoa, boy, that's serious. What? I said, if Denver beat them again, that's pretty serious. Right. Mm. Yeah, Denver beat them 111.98 today. And that's who we worrying about? Come on, man. They were, supposed, <laughs> they, were definitely, they were definitely supposed to sweep Denver. Right. Is that man. Is everybody talking about how great, the lake. Everybody want to talk about how great Kawhi is and He's the closest thing to Michael Jordan and all of this stuff. So what's going on? I never heard that line. Yeah, the closest thing to who? Paul <laughs> the closest thing to who? Paul George. Mike. Michael Jordan. Yes, sir. What the, the disrespect. I'm talking about the disrespect. How the hell he close to damn Michael Jordan? I don't know. I don't understand it. Nobody's really that close, but Kobe what, is the only right thing right now would, would be the closest. Yeah, I don't know why the hell I said Kobe. I meant LeBron. Damn. When I think Lakers, I automatically think Kobe. But yeah, uh, yeah, LeBron definitely the hell. I mean, he's the best thing to ever hit the league, man. And I'm a Jordan <laughs> fan, like. Now, don't get it twisted what I'm saying. Like, Michael Jordan is the best killer. Michael Jordan is yeah, the best killer we ever seen. But yeah. LeBron James is the best all-around specimen, man, that we ever seen play that game, bro. Like, Thank you. Magic but, Johnson. I think but, he, a better, okay. he a just a better Magic Johnson. And Magic Johnson probably was. If, if but, he wasn't right, he was before Jordan, man. I got to give – man, that's what I, I think we'd really be skipping. We don't give Magic his props, man, but Magic was a bad motherfucker, man. Oh, excuse my language. Yeah. I'm talking about <laughs> all five, all five positions. One, two, three, four, five. Every last one of them. LeBron James could do that right now. You know what I'm saying? LeBron James could do that now uh, at a higher at a higher level. But Magic right. Johnson, but Magic Johnson, man, was the epitome of basketball at one point in time. When I first started watching, like he was the guy that made me watch basketball, like NBA, because I was a college basketball guy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So he the one that really got me into the NBA. You know, and then Mike came. You know, Mike left, so I had to watch him and James. No, James Worthy left. I watched him in L.A. Yeah. to Magic Johnson by way of James Worthy. You know what I'm saying? And just felt I'm like, man, that guy bad. So I patterned my game after James. Not, you know, not James, but uh, Magic. Magic. I tried to do a little bit of everything. Yeah, Magic made it cool to point. pass the ball. Huh? Magic made it cool I'm to pass. Point. Yeah, he made it. I mean, made it, and you got to do it in a hell of a fashion, man. Make it look good, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah, that, yeah. yeah, I'm proud but of that. I'm going to bring up a point. Don't get, yeah, Magic don't get what he deserve, I don't think. I'm going to bring up a point, but y'all, I know, especially, I know Matt ain't going to agree with me, but you might see. So, we call him LeBron great and everything, but has he ever beat Kevin Durant in the finals? So why we getting giving Kevin some respect? Oh, we, we didn't give anybody Kevin. some respect. But all yeah, around, right. LeBron better. Yeah. He can't even get play all around? Say what now? Kevin can't play all around? He can't play the one. 
He can't play the one now. He, he I seen him play the one. He can't play the one, man. <laughs> he ain't he ain't, he ain't a distributor like that to play the one. He heavy on that two. From the two on the fucking yeah. two on, and I don't think he can play center. He's too light in the ass to play center. But that's right. Uh two, two three and a four. Two, three, and a four, he got that now. You can put him in either yeah. one of them. But him down there in that paint banging out, man, he gonna get mad and frustrated because them boys gonna throw his little ass all around now, man. <laughs> I don't care how strong he is. <laughs> man, that man too, too too little, man. I know he's too little. I think I can outbox him now and then that paint, you know what I'm saying? He too little. <laughs> yeah, I think I can, I can get with him in that paint, but yeah, like his, his advantage is being he, he's such an excellent shooter, man. He can shoot on top of you. Like if he they, they put him at the one, but he's still doing number two guard point the two guard situation. Because he just pull it up over them little ass guards. So I mean he doing a he doing a two guard thing. He ain't distributing it. He might be at the one, but he doing what a two guard would do. So sometimes they run two twos, you know what I'm saying, two um two shooting guards or two points. Yeah, he does uh, uh but uh just all around better than LeBron, man. It's not we seen better than that. I can't recall it. I can't recall it, man. Mike can't play in no paint. Mike can't play in the paint. Like far as posting no, up, he can post him, man. <laughs> he can post two man up in the paint, but he can't go down there and play center. Right. And uh what did you say? Mike couldn't do something. Oh my god, that man yeah. would walk on water. <laughs> <laughs> he, won't, he won't walk down the bed over there. And say, I bet you, you see him match up with Kareem. You see him match up with Kareem or Elijah one or Shaq or nobody else. Now he ain't going out that paint, man. Hell no. I mean, he'll try it now, huh? You can try Mike anything. I know he'll try it. I ain't even, I don't even, I don't remember none of them guys. Either. I don't remember him holding none of them guys. I can't True. recall. No. I just seen him come back and get some some behind the back blocks now. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Oh, a bunch of the big centers and shit now. I just seen them like they ain't looking. They think they got their man beat and he come out from nowhere and smacks them. I just seen him do that plenty of times though. And especially Patrick. Yeah, man, he just ain't no. I'm a post post up Patrick. I'm gonna post up Pat Ewan down here in the paint now. No, he ain't gonna do that. Mm-hmm. He might do it on the on the corner on that wing and do a fadeaway on him. But that's it, man. Right. And then what, what did y'all? What about Giannis? What uh, did y'all feel about out, out of the compo? That joke. That joke unfriending people, unfollowing people. Man. He said he won't go leave, so. I just I hope he don't go to Golden State. Hey, look, I mean, he was a great player, man, but I think people giving him his, his flowers a little bit too early, man. I mean, he, he got to do something to prove that, you know what I'm saying, that he worried that those situations. But that's, just, that's no different than that gentleman down there in um, Dallas. They are, everybody's saying he's better than LeBron, all this stuff. Come on, man. It's my dope. Yeah, okay. Look at the man. Say what now? Yeah, he dope. He the man for right now, but he, he, he got to do like, you can't, Why you don't like Luka? Man? I don't hate on him, but you got to do something. You can't just have a good season all of a sudden. He's a little. You better than the um, best player of our generation. Come on, man. All right. It it take more than that. Hey, uh, C's back in. All right, hold on. All right, got C's back in. Yeah, yeah. So what? The man, Luca, yeah, he could be a great player now. Luca be a great player. I think Luca. Yeah, I'm not disputing that. I'm just saying yeah. everybody want to give him the crown right now. Yeah. You know, I mean, come on, right. man. You got to win something other than going to an all star game or something like that. You got to win something. Oh, he already buried. Well, he already buried the second bird, so they see. I see it that too. Right. They already saying he's better than Bird. 
you you just got to do something. This. I ain't saying he's not a good player. I'm just saying, hold on, bro. Slow your roll. Let's not do this thing too early. Yeah. Yeah, because he damn sure. I said that. He impressed me now. I'm damn sure impressed by him. But... Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, as long as LeBron playing at the, at the level he's playing, man, it's going to be. Well, maybe next year, you know, when the season expands, I mean, you know, uh, give time for injuries to be the, 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 the come into play and all that stuff, right? But right now, man, LeBron is just uh, – it's his era again. Like, he's playing with a big chip on his shoulder, man. He ain't playing soft, bro. He ain't playing soft at all. You hear that he big chip? Anytime that man come out in the I first know. quarter, in the first quarter, and go off, you know what I'm saying? Like that ain't his. He used to go out and fill around, let everybody get get a hand, get their hands on the ball, and and let them do their thing. And he come up when he feel like. Okay, he but now he just coming out there right out the gate. After okay, he need his title to make him look good. Well, well he, he need his title to make him look good. All right, he need this. Well, I hope I ain't gonna say I hope he get it, cause. I want him to hate. I want him. To, I don't want to be on that Jordan. I don't want to be on that Jordan pedestal. But yeah, you know, he never will be. No, nah, he won't be. But he'll be there. Did something that Jordan didn't do, like uh, win a championship with every team he went to, something like that. You know. But Jordan didn't go with two teams. But yeah. Yeah. he's just trying. To, he's just trying to uh, put his nick in the game in a different way. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he never will be. He ain't going to be Jordan, but he can set his own – he can put his own trademark down like, yo, who else can go to any team they want and lead them to a championship? I don't care where I go. I'm going to the championship. I understand and that. Next year when he lead that team, that team over. That team finish when he lead. Everybody when he else, leave, when he leave, the team gone. Well, AD, all right, you think because he leaving, you got AD stay in L.A. They're going to get somebody established down there with LeBron Lee. That it's a difference, huh? man. Like it's a difference. It's a big difference, man. You, it ain't a player in the league right now that can come out and, and make everybody else great around him. And then he can make everybody else look like superstars. The White Howard down there looking like he should have been one about three, four rings. Right? Yeah. And he's a, he's assisted somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Assisted everywhere else. But down there with LeBron, he look like he's somebody, man. Like he's yeah, supposed hey, to be in there. KZ, check this out. Everybody want to say that Kawhi's so much better than LeBron, right? Yeah. Where was the Raptors? I mean, uh, where? Yeah, where were the Raptors playing this year? In the uh, second round of the playoffs, right? Yeah, they were in the second round. Yeah, they where did it without. I don't know. <laughs> he never heard of it. I, don't even, I thought they quit. I thought they turned their jerseys in. The Man. only difference is one player from both teams. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's Come it. On, man. I mean, it wasn't like because before Kawhi got there, they was already they was going to the playing in the finals anyway. Yeah. Uh yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it ain't like he went to no bum ass squad and made no difference. But when LeBron, the Lakers weren't going to, they hadn't been into the finals in nine years. Eight years at the time or whatever. So, I mean, that's a big that's a big turnaround. He came and made a franchise better. So, uh, yeah. It ain't like KD when he went to them, came to us, and, and we already had everything already ready-made. As soon as you come through the door, we just fit the ring for you like, okay. Let me go and fit the ring for you there. We, we get to win another one, man. We we won last year, but now we're going to come in and we add to yeah. it. Yeah, so. Man, see, he's got stuck in here. Yeah, he got stuck in He going out too, Wood. He is resting himself. We can't hear nothing. <laughs> 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 yeah, you hear me, see? Now he came. He got stuck again, Steve. See, you ain't not on the dial up tonight, are you? Can you hear me? <laughs> oh, shoot, it's sound like.
But you like, know, but uh, how y'all feel what Paul Pierce said about LeBron again about not being on uh his top five as a if he don't win the championship? Oh, just being salty. Exactly. <laughs> I don't understand, Paul. Why he ain't, why he ain't no good? Paul, Paul feel like he made LeBron uh, go down to the uh, team up with Miami Heat. <laughs> he do, man. They really feel like he made LeBron, and they crushed LeBron, and they made LeBron do this, go join up with these other teams. I heard them say that before. Him and him and uh, KG. All right. I think, yeah, I think they feel some type of way about Brian. <laughs> yeah, he even had nerve to say that his his career and LeBron's career weren't too different. Like, what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> nah, that's way different, man. He did. He, he, did it. he had a great too? career. Now. Don't get it fucked up. Yeah, now. He had an excellent career. Yeah, but uh, no, nah, you ain't. You ain't come out of high school. Everybody was talking about you with Jordan already. Nah, that one, right. that one, you there. Now you were good coming out of high school. You did good, and you ain't win shit till KG and uh, Ray got around you. So I don't want to hear that. But right. y'all you know, career about the same or nothing. What y'all think about the Miami Heat? Very impressive, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man, they got them boys out of there, man. They came. Wow. Jimmy Butler playing like a MVP veteran right now, man. All right. And I, I said this when he went to Miami, like, what in the world he doing? Why you didn't go to L.A. or something like that, Jordan LeBron or something like that? But he knew what he was doing. And look yeah, at him. He now. To be, yeah, he wanted to be his own individual, man. And All right. He got. He I like that. People. Yeah, yeah, I like people like that too. That's Kawhi. Kawhi the same on the same page. You know what I'm saying? Even though we try to compare them guys to, to greatness, I mean they're great in their own way. But LeBron, damn, that's supernatural, man. And Jimmy Buckets yeah. ain't getting no ring down there in Miami. Nah, he. Wait, ain't. man, why you ain't getting made a place? Not used to come for the ring. You might get an Eastern Conference. Yeah, I don't care about that. <laughs> <laughs> Eastern Conference ring. Yeah, yeah. That's the silver ring. <laughs> well, at least they said they did something. Yeah. We got one. Yeah, we got a chair for, oh, we got a chair for Bam from Little Washington. I, I understand that, man. But well, them boys ain't about to do nothing. <laughs> so you don't think they can go down there and give and give the LA either LA team a chance and view? I think that they would be better suited to deal with uh, the Clippers than they would to deal with um, the Lakers. Don't nobody want to see the Lakers right now, man. Right. Hold on, my wife calling me real quick. I'm on. Hello. This just then, Tim Jones is locked down. I'm doing the show. You better yes, get this, man. You got to check in while on air. You yeah. can't say, baby, <laughs> I'll call you back. No, you better pick up that yeah, call. I'm on air, bus. Thank you very That's much. Right. <laughs> Sugar eyes doing the show now. I'll see you later, baby. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing the show. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we about there. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going. I'm going to go get comfortable. Get watching cowboy cowgirls lose tonight. You said it right the first time, man. Y'all, anybody want? Anybody want to bet? C's inbox him. He ready. And congratulations, got bro. You got me. Ready. Congratulations to you too, Big T. Y'all win. Yeah, uh, we, ain't gonna say that too, we ain't gonna say that too many times this year. So you know, we'd like to just shout out your team as well as your um, organization. And I'd like to let y'all know from the bottom of my heart that it's all downhill from here. So um, <laughs> I hope y'all enjoy yourselves. 
right. All right, bro. I'll see y'all next week. Same. Well, we could be on 8 o'clock, 8.30 next week. Be on regular time next Sunday. All right. No problem. Good to see you guys back again. Nope. We back. Strange sports, baby. No. That's right. <laughs> be live. <laughs> All right, next week, same bet time, same bet champ. Peace.